Okay, welcome back to Apex Investor. Today's value picks, uh, SPRT is not a value pick. It just shot up uh, over 200% today, 231 to be exact. Uh, this is not a buy, obviously, but it would be a buy at a uh, dollar to two dollars range. Uh, this will drop down again. Uh, it's best to pick this up two dollars and under, but at this price, it's you're just chasing it. ODT is another value pick, uh, actually an actual value pick. This one not only was the top loser for today with minus seventy nine percent. A minus seventy nine percent drop. It is also, it also reached a new low. Uh, this is an American biotech company. Market cap under one forty four million. Their uh, institutional ownership not very good. So be careful there. RSI it is oversold seventeen point nine one. Average volume way above the average about maybe 50 times above the average volume. And the 52 week range was $12 to 46. So at $3.96, this is a great deal. Um, shorts float, uh, we can't really take that number to be honest. Uh, so this stock is possibly a good buy. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to approve any of further uh, biotech companies uh, that drop to new lows because it is very risky. I did recommend IDRA, and that just continues to drop to lower lows. Uh, it's going to take a lot of time for these kinds of stocks to to uh, recuperate. Uh, looking at the weekly, and then now the monthly, we can see yeah, this it has never dropped this low uh, since two thousand and eighteen. This is the lowest it's ever been, uh, but. I would watch and wait. Uh, if you want, you can pick up a few. It's up to you. I'm not a financial advisor or expert, so you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. However, I do believe this will go back up to at least at least thirteen dollars, maybe at the most forty. But I'd say thirteen is a pretty safe bet. It's going to go back up there from uh, where it is right now, three dollars and. 96 cents. So uh, that's a potential buy there. Um, okay, I think that's all for the value picks. We'll move on to the meme stocks. AMC is down over 10% today, and then another 2% in the after hours. Uh, it was trading between 11.76 to $13. Um, so again, this is just being uh, manipulated by the short sellers. Uh, volume was pretty healthy, about half of what it usually gets. But uh, I would wait, just hold on to this. This is going to squeeze eventually. When in doubt, they say zoom out. So if we zoom out, you can see, yep, we're still high. Once we drop, if we drop to uh, $10 below, $10 and lower or $8 and lower, then it's time to, you know, evaluate what's going on. Whereas right now we're still at a pretty high level uh, at this price for AMC. Okay, moving on. GME is also down uh, about two, just over 3%, including the after hours. This too is very heavily manipulated, uh, 186 to 210. That was the range for today. And this is <laughs> such a joke because you can see, I can feel the fear of the hedge funds, uh, the short selling hedge funds, that they know it's coming this Wednesday. And they're just trying to drive the price down as much as they can because they know once that explodes, you know, it's going to be too late uh, come Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, and the volume was about a fourth of what, it, maybe less than a fourth, what it usually does in the average. So that's all for GameStop. And yeah, I'm not going to say that uh, Wednesday is a must date. It's not like it has to go up on Wednesday. It's simply a bonus. Whatever happens on Wednesday will be a bonus to what we already know is going to happen, which is the short squeeze, which will happen regardless of whether there's a, a uh, conference call. So look forward to that. We're going to Reddit next. 
Here's a significant headline. It says here, good news, short sellers have been decimated even worse than during the 2000 tech bubble, the year 2000. Uh, keep it going. So S&P 500 short interest is at a record low. The median short interest of S&P 500, 500 stocks has not been this low at 1.5% since 2000. So that's amazing. Uh, is that a sign that we're heading towards a crash? Maybe, but as well, that's true. I mean, that's what's going on here, and that's a very helpful chart. So take it with a grain of salt, but uh, if that's true, it's a very good sign for us, GameStop AMC apes. So this this post goes through uh, GameStop news catalysts. The previous two uh, both saw a significant jump in the price of the stock uh, the day after. And then our next news catalyst obviously is coming up this Wednesday with the fourth quarter and fiscal year 2020 earnings. So expect to hear something about uh, a replacement for their CFO, the possibility Ryan Cohen may be taking a new role within GameStop. And then with the er earnings blackout period, uh, GameStop will be free to announce uh, any transition initiatives moving forward that's after the uh, pre-earnings blackout. So. A note on earnings, GameStop's fiscal year run uh, runs through January, so the Q4 report will include holiday sales, so that's great. The console release releases increased offerings of PC parts and any additional sales driven through, through January from suddenly getting a ton of free press and consumer goodwill. And I went there uh, the last week. I bought a bunch of games, and I also renewed my membership there. It's like a special card you get. For those that want to dial in, okay, that's all for that. Uh, let's move on to AMC stock subreddit, see if there's anything worth reading. These are the types of days that everyone just needs to log off and walk away. I did the same thing. You know, I realized the stock is being manipulated today. It's not going to go, it's not really going to go anywhere today. So just hold on to it. That's what I did today. I just realized I'm just going to shut it off. Wait for Wednesday, wait for Thursday, and then if not, wait for Friday, and if not, then wait for next week. Something's going to happen. It's going to pop. It's just a matter of when. It's not a matter of if. Okay. Okay, here's a prime example of why we should hold. Here's a lesson on the power of the forbidden diamond hand hold technique. Uh, there's a tweet from Greg Schoen. I wish I had kept my 1,700 one, or 1,700 Bitcoin at six cents instead of selling them at 30 cents. Now that they are $8 and now we know where they're worth over 50 grand. Uh, wow, he would have been, what is that? Multi-millionaire by now. Oh, it's sad, it's sad, but uh, you know, people just are short-sighted. Okay, so this is a great idea. This uh, person decided to post a poll which cannot be downvoted. You simply have to choose. Uh, which option you like the most. So uh, I don't know if I can vote or not, but I like the stock. I like the stock and also had the reflex, had the reflex, the upvote post. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that one. I upvoted and I like the stock. So what did I get? Let's see. Yeah. So we have a vast majority. Uh, Almost 90, probably 99% <laughs> voted for, yeah, we like the stock. There's only that many shills. So that's great. Uh, that's a great idea, whoever posted that. Thank you for that. Okay, so there is a process to transfer your shares from Robinhood to Fidelity. So just please do that. Do not sell your shares. Simply transfer them over. Okay, next post. Okay, uh, Warden Elite. For us is, uh, and I'm get, again, I'm telling you guys, I don't think that's gonna happen. Warden Elite has got a video channel. He's got a YouTube channel okay. as well. So uh, go over there, subscribe. He's got over eight, almost 8,000 subscribers already. Uh, I think I have a total of eight. So <laughs> I think he should be telling people to go to my channel. Uh, so thanks Warden, Warden Elite for this video. Uh, it's over four hours long, but he does explain of the real end game for GameStop, and he streams every Monday. Uh, he was talking about uh, different 
and there will be there will be a DV about this. Okay. He was talking about different uh, methods he uses to determine support, resistance, things like that. Uh, he was saying how some techniques and some formulas were pretty much not uh, dependable. And I agree with him. You know, uh, I went to the school of uh, Quake Fingers Luke, where, you know, testing uh, support, looking at support, determining support and resistance is pretty simple. Even a five year old could do it uh, based on his method. So uh, I recommend his over anyone else's. And the TLDR, thank you to this commenter, is stick to buying and holding. That is the way. Don't day trade. Don't buy call options. You're helping the other side instead. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. So again, it's we're pretty much just waiting for Wednesday, uh, the, the conference call. And then Thursday, we should see a reaction to that. Good or bad, we'll see what happens. And then Friday is going to be interesting because every Friday from here on out will be... Uh, will be interesting because a lot of options expire every Friday. So we're not setting dates. We're not saying it has to be Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. We're just saying it's going there and we have to wait, be patient. And, you know, he who holds wins. Just look at what happened with that guy who had over a thousand Bitcoin at six cents and sold it for a measly, you know, less than a dollar when now it's worth, you know, 50,000 plus. Same thing could happen with uh, with GameStop. You know, you, you buy it at a, at a price of $200, but you just don't really believe the price. The price is like psychological and it's worth over a thousand, well over 10,000, perhaps even a million dollars. So you know what? It's good to just hold and sell on the, uh, when it starts to decline. So wait for the peak. When you see it hit the peak, and it, again, it's not easy to turn to determine the peak, but once you see the short squeeze happen, and it's going to happen, the short squeeze will be undeniable. It's going to be a massive, huge surge, similar to what we saw in January. However, however that was a gamma squeeze. And you still had, despite that being a gamma squeeze, you still had at least 48 hours to 72 hours to, to sell your stock for a great profit. So uh, we could see minimum you know 48 hours of uh, being able to being able to sell at all-time highs whether that's a thousand ten thousand or more you know just wait for it don't just sell on the upswing sell on on the decline so uh, again it's hard to determine where's the decline is that simply a dip or is that where it's really you know going back to normal levels so uh, it's going to be interesting how to determine that. Um, volume drives it a lot of this, uh, but you know what? It's better just hold. If you want to sell maybe one, okay, try one, but uh, you know, hold on to most of them because you're going to want to, especially once all the dust settles. Uh, it's going to be a little obvious, I think. It's going to be pretty obvious, uh, but again, it's it's not easy to know. You know, when is the the best exit your exit strategy what price do you sell All right because a lot of people are saying a thousand a lot of people are saying ten thousand a hundred thousand a million so who to believe uh you know just hold on to it and just keep watching if personally i think when you see the after hours numbers uh very strong you look at it from a day-to-day -day, uh day-to-day -day basis you're looking at you know, where is it going? Where is the resistance? Once you see uh, resistance and support taking shape, and we are seeing that, especially with support, that support is pretty much solidifying at, you know, 180, 190. Like it's not really dropping below 180. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But in terms of resistance, that one is a big question mark. We can say, uh, with more certainty that support is definitely between 60 to 180. I know that's a big, that's such a big uh, range, but 60 to 180 is very solid. Uh, in terms of resistance, it's hard to say. I mean, the 
when it was last uh, halted at the gamma squeeze it was 480. However, we know that was manipulated. So it's hard to say until we reach that peak and you start to see a sell off. So it's important to uh, keep track of it, you know, set your alerts. So if you see, you know, at $1,000 that keep keeps on going from, you know, the, the next day, then, you know, it's not really, uh, that's not the peak. So it's important to keep your eye on it. Uh, keep your prices, uh, your sell price stable. I mean, keep it solid. Don't, don't be wavering and saying, okay, I'm going to sell it a thousand for instance, and then you lower your price to 500, you know, just keep it at your price. So you you don't disappoint yourself because everyone has their own expectation. Some people believe it'll go to 10,000. So if you believe it's 10,000 and that's your opinion, just keep it there. Don't lower it just in case. And, and you don't, you have no one else to blame, but yourself. Uh, or if your price is a hundred thousand, keep it at a hundred thousand uh, and just wait for it to get there. And then, you know, you have no one else to beat up. You can only beat up yourself about that. And if it goes to a million and you put it a hundred thousand, at least you're better off than the ones who sold at a thousand and 10,000. Uh, but I would still, you know, personally, I'm going to hold, I'm always going to have at least a bunch of stock, a handful of stock, no matter what happens, even, you know, if it goes to zero, I'm going to keep one just as a memento. And you know what, that could work for me or against me, but either way, this has been a great experience. It could go to a million and I'll still make a million from that, you know, last you know, five shares I'll hold, whatever happens in the end. So uh, thank you very much for your time. This is Apex Investor. Uh, tune in tomorrow uh, after hours where we'll do the same uh, daily update for AMC, GameStop, Wall Street Bets, and uh, just looking for the best opportunities in the, in the stock market for you to uh, maximize your profit. And I don't know what to say about that. It's all about AMC and GameStop until you know this train stops, but it doesn't seem to be stopping. It's only being manipulated and, uh, you know, hedge funds, short sellers are uh, simply ladder shorting. Is that ladder shorting? But they're, they're manipulating, they're selling it sideways. And you can see it's not very volatile because uh, we're not selling, we're only holding. They're the ones who are manipulating it. So so uh, buckle up your seatbelts. There's going to be an interesting ride. AMC Apes, GameStop Apes. Okay, Apex Investor signing out. Thank you again for your time. Please like. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell uh, just so you would know as soon as I upload my latest videos. I have two really massive videos I'm going to be uploading. You don't want to miss those. And thank you again. Apex Investor signing out for real.